That was the legendary Naomi Campbell in her YouTube show, No Filter with Naomi. She is here now with the trailblazing makeup artist to, I mean, honestly, you ain't nobody lest Pat McGrath has touched <laughs> your face. You know what I'm saying? That's true. <laughs> Lady, welcome to Access Daily. Kit, we are freaking out. Well, first of all, oh. the Divine Rose makeup, we're gonna get to all that, but I love your lady's friendship. How did you two meet? Go on now. No. Naomi, you no. we met on an ID shoot, but Naomi, take it away. <laughs> we met uh, on an ID shoot in New York City, um, shooting with Kate Moss and myself and Pat McGrath on 14th Street. It was a night shoot, and I can't tell you how it was just love at first sight. We're all from South London. And just that alone was already like, you know, just being together. And then just how, I mean, it, for me to sit in a chair, I worked with very few uh, makeup artists of color. And Pat was the third. And, you know, so it was, um, I felt really finally relaxed, comfortable, I could trust. I didn't have to worry that, you know, I had to bring my own makeup and just in case or, and so, and then her personality is contagious and she's very nurturing at the same time. So it just, she became my chosen family. I love y'all's collaboration. And Naomi, you touched on it, having Pat as one of the few black makeup artists early on in your career. And Scott and I just had a friend on who wrote an op-ed for New York Times about inclusivity in fashion. Pat, I wonder for you, what is it like in the cosmetic world? What has your journey been like? I mean, I was really brought up, you know, my mother was always like, just keep going. No matter what anyone says, everyone, I mean, my mom was a little bit, my mom was out there. She was like, everybody hates you. So listen, step onto it. Don't even, don't let no one stop you. Don't let no one get in your way. That's the speech she gave me at three. So, you know, I really... I just really, I'm determined. No one's ever gonna get in my way or stop me from doing anything. So, you know, it's a, it's a, everything is a journey. Everything was a difficult journey, but I really am one of those people, once I've got a mission, I can't stop. I can't see anything else but the mission. You but can see Naomi agreeing with you. She's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you know, did you have a feeling that you were breaking through barriers, simply doing the job you had been hired to do? Did you feel that kind of um, that weight on you or that responsibility, perhaps? I don't call it, I wouldn't call it a weight, but I felt that I was given, was given this opportunity that I needed to embrace and that I knew that I was doing it not just for me, but for my entire culture, for my entire race. I have always known you as the supermodel. And so I can't imagine that in the fashion industry, you experienced- uh, I was uh, called picture. difficult. I was called difficult because I would speak up. So label me what you wanted to label me. I was gonna speak up. If you were gonna take me, hire me, fly me across the world, to make me look like some stereotypical crap. I'm not doing it. And I would say I'm not doing it. Wow. You know, once I was asked to hold a tray and be in a maid's outfit in a picture, I was like, I'm not doing it. I don't, wow. I'm not, you know, because I want to be in the business so much, oh, maybe I should do it because, no, I'm, I wouldn't. So I was called all sorts of things, and I still am, and that's not my business. Yeah. But once I started to open my mouth, I was a difficult. Pat, what about you? I mean, you, you are someone who has worked in this industry and been a pioneer, whether you knew it or not. Did you face mm -hmm. situations where you knew this is not happening because I'm a woman? This is not happening because I'm in fashion or makeup. This is happening because I'm a black person. I mean, so many times, and when you look at your whole life in every walk of life, whether you're in fashion or out of fashion, it's always been an awful, disgusting struggle, right? It's always been a struggle. But the one thing I always, the one thing I learned was I'm gonna fight for what 
is rightfully mine and I'm going to be the best. And, you know, I remember my mother was like, okay, you want to be a makeup artist? You're going to be, you think you're going to do well? You're going to need 5,000 covers. I was like, okay. It's true. It's like, I'll do 5,000 covers. It's a, it's a you know, but, which is sad that children are brought up to know you can't just do one, you got to do 5,000. What I love about Pat is also when I go with her to Sephora and I watch her with the young next generation, she embraces all of them, coaches them, mentors them. This is important. And it's all shades of diversity. And that's what yeah. you want. Tell us about Divine Rose and tell us about this labor of love and where everybody um, can find it. Well, I remember Divine Rose started out as a lip gloss. It was a real labor of love amongst myself and the team. And when the name was said, it was literally rays coming from the heavens. And then when we were like, we have to make more things that, that are just under the Divine Rose, you know, umbrella or whatever. We were like, we, everything has to, from then on, everything became Divine Rose. So there's the first palette, which was Mothership 7, which was Divine Rose, which you can see here. And I mean, look at how beautiful she is. Yeah. And she's so gorgeous. That's my favorite. What was, in, what was amazing was making the film on Naomi and making Naomi into the Divine Rose, because she's always been a Divine Rose to me. Can we, we talk about inspiration for a moment? Can we just, yes. can we, Kit, Kit, will you humor me? Will yes. you, will you, will, Naomi, will you humor me? Five zero. Five zero. And on the cover uh -huh. of five zero for Essence Magazine, shot on an iPhone by yourself. And did her own hair makeup. She didn't I mean, have that if she needed. Come on. Were you at all, you had to have, at some point, you had to have been a little nervous about, okay, now I gotta shoot. Oh, no, up. I was stressed out beyond belief. I was running around my apartment like a cat with <laughs> casing its tail. It was a challenge, but I like challenges. That's why I feel like my whole career has always been based on a challenge. So, um, I didn't, I was, I was intimidated by the whole thing. It's I, beautiful. Pat, how would you rate the cover? How did Naomi do? 10 out of 10. 20 out of 10. <laughs> out of 10. I mean, <laughs> unbelievable. Again, the makeup and then the calmness, the stance, the everything. What I love that you said about it when we first got on is that you said, now that I know that she can do it. There's no more. <laughs> no more, please <laughs> touch me, touch me. <laughs> I used to believe her. I used to believe her. Please touch me. Scott and I love seeing women supporting other women. What a great friendship. Incredible to watch. Great to see you both. Happy belated birthday, Naomi. Thank you so much, Kit. Thank you. And Pat, lovely to meet you. We love you like Naomi does right now. Please check out Pat's new makeup line, Divide Rose, at patmcgrath.com. It's also in all your Sephora's. It's a wonderful gift. God bless you both. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye, oh, Maya. Oh, God, I'm going to this interview. Bye, my angel. Bye.